It was a routine third and one play that Chris Thompson makes every time. Just like he always does, Thompson got the first down. Yet something unexpected happened during that Saturday afternoon in Winston-Salem. I was just trying to get that, get that yard. And um, what happened was when I, when I kind of tried to hit the hole, I, I put my head down too low and I made impact with the safety and he really didn't move back at all. So uh, the doctors say my, my spine is just all like compressed and ended up getting fr fractured. And um, I knew that once it happened, um, I knew it was something, something wrong. Two fractured vertebrae and just like that, his season was over. Most would be bedridden or even still at a hospital. Yet Chris Thompson is not most people. Just two days after the injury, number 23 walked onto the practice fields with that same beaming smile he always has. Sure, the pads had been replaced by a large back brace and he couldn't practice. Yet Thompson was determined to be there, no matter the circumstance. I have to make him take his cleats off. He's, I'm afraid he's going to go in and do a drill. <laughs> I mean, he is. That's just the kind of young man he is. I mean, he, he is a special, special cat that, uh, you know, he's... He, no matter what, he's going to affect the guys on this team, whether he's playing or not. I seen him. I just gave him the biggest hug ever. He was just walking around, and I was just like, man, you know, I really, like, I, I mean, it just was, like, a heartfelt. Like, he just wanted to be back with us, and I just, I couldn't believe it. Just kind of like, you know, emotions were high. And that decision to come back was helped by a special hospital visit from a certain young boy. Coach Fisher and uh, Miss Candy came out to see me, and um, they gave me a little uh, toy car from Ethan, and, um, that really, I mean, that really kept a smile on my face, and I take it everywhere with me now. We look at them as they're our family, and if that was your son laying there, that was your thing, and what the kids feel and the bonds they feel with our family, we, we hopefully create that family atmosphere. And, uh, uh, you know, Ethan wanted him to make sure he had that, and because uh, he knew he, you know, when he was sick and things, that was things that made him feel good, and he wanted Chris to feel good. It's all about family. You see a guy that is not selfish. I mean, just had a devastating injury. I mean, was blessed to come back, to have a walk again. I mean, to come out there and to support his team and, to, you know, do it with enthusiasm. You know, that's just great. I mean, you just love to see guys like that around your team with character. And that's what makes Thompson special. He's team first and knows he has a big role with the Florida State family. It's the same thing that it's always said about Chris. I mean, everybody always knew what kind of player Chris was. They always knew what kind of person Chris was. He's been a great person, a great player, as long as I haven't known the guy. I mean, it really wouldn't surprise me he would do something like that. It would surprise me that, you know, he would have the energy, he was strong enough to do something like that. Back injuries are just horrible. For him to, like, break his back and then to be up with a huge, uncomfortable, stiff back brace on, you know, walking around and practice and rooting us on, you know, that says a lot about a guy. Really coach the freshman up and just, and just sometimes on the sideline, I just I just try to quiz them up on little things, just just to kind of kind of see where their head is, where their where their mindset is, and and I think um, it, it really helped it really helped Saturday against Duke with with Devontae. And that's the kind of guys you can win championships with, and you can do things with, and that's why it's a shame that he's out. We have other, I mean, a lot of them, but that's why it's a shame he's out because the effect of it. And and when that's in the huddle, it makes a difference. Expect Thompson to be that difference maker whether it's in the huddle or on the sidelines. His presence is more than just a football player. He's a leader that makes everyone proud that he's a Seminole. I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.